Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, ni hao, I'm Lizzie. I have been living in China for about five years now. Wow, five years. It's actually a long time. But yeah, I just make videos about life in China in general. And yes, sometimes I still get some pretty harsh comments about the haters. But you know, the haters gonna hate and always gonna be some comments about me being paid to say nice things about China, which is obviously not true. I just really think a lot of people don't know about actual life in China and that is why I started this YouTube channel. So anyway, welcome to this video. Okay, so first up, I've got the biggest news to share. I am going to Singapore next week to see Taylor Swift. I am so excited. Like literally, it's all I can think about. I have been shopping on Taobao for some clothes. I am really pumped. So I cannot wait to go. Just wanted to share that news with you. But anyway, let's get into it. thing that I'm pretty sure not a lot of people in the world know about China is China has cleaning trucks. Yes, China has trucks that clean the road. And you think that China is maybe then a dirty country. It is not even true. Like the roads are not even that dirty. In my previous videos, I have shown you how clean the streets are shopping centers there are no papers laying around on the floor but yes still china cleans the roads and not just the roads like there are these barriers in the middle of the roads even those get clean like there's a special truck that like you know cleans them so it was really interesting for me to see when i came here because i never even knew stuff like that existed but the actual reason why china does that is mostly because of the dust actually because like china doesn't want to you know pollute the air too much like in Kuming, there's not really a lot of buildings but maybe in bigger cities like in beijing where there are some factories or some construction going on it definitely helps reduce it a lot and like when people are on their e-bikes it's not that dirty like that is one thing that i can confess it does help it's like when i go to work on my e-bike i don't feel that dusty and that dirty where when i went to bali a few months ago it was completely different like you would drive on the e-bike and it's just dust everywhere and you just want to get in the swimming pool so it does make a huge difference and actually these trucks in COVID also benefited the country a lot because they used like these antibacterial liquids with water that also like killed the germs much quicker but yes i think the main reason is the dust, but China also does it to set a standard for their country and for the rest of the world because China is a growing country. It is a very big country and a lot of people look at China sometimes to find some bad things. But yes, it is good for China to set a standard like this and set a standard for the people living here, feeling good about living in a country that gives them something small like this, but actually makes a huge difference. The second interesting fact is food wastage yeah that was a interesting thing for me because when i did some research about that you would not believe like there were 92 million tons of food wastage last year in china and if you have watched my previous videos it was a big thing for me to like especially now during chinese new year go to a village and it's like very rude not to finish your food well that is what i thought and like before i came to china i heard like you're not allowed to leave food in your plate because it's rude and then it's like if people cook for you it proves to them you don't like that food that much so like i was always really motivated to finish my food here but apparently it's not a thing which was interesting even for me living here five years because as i said when i did some research and searched that it's actually a very cultural thing. 
Like here, if you eat too much and you finish like bowl after bowl after bowl, it actually shows poverty. It's like a sign of poverty. So I'm being honest here with you. I don't know if this is true, like because I was just at a traditional village and like it was people were just feeding me all the time and I was eating a lot. So if you have experienced something like this in China, if you are Chinese watching, please let me know if this is actually a true thing because where does all this waste come from? I do know China uses a lot of oil. So maybe it can be mostly because of oil. You know, everyone cooks with oil here. Maybe it's because of that. But yeah, remember as well, China is a very big country. So something even small like oil can really add up to 92 million tons. So yeah, I'm not sure besides oil what it could be. But yeah, if you have any ideas what maybe it could be, yeah, let me know. Because this was definitely something interesting that I never knew. Okay, third on the list is the senior citizens of China, like the older people. They are more happening. If I can try to explain it like that, like older people have so much more fun and they are so much more active than the younger people, especially now with phones and technology and games. The younger people, if they work, they would go to work, come home, eat, and then just play games. Whereas the older generation, in the mornings when I go to school early, people are dancing, they are doing their, you know, Tai Chi moves, and old people are like riding the bikes. That is one thing that I wish my grandma could do, is like, I think it's such good fitness just to like ride a pedal bike around. But yeah, and then at night, they like dance every night. There are so many people dancing. And if you watch, like here in China, they have doing. It's like a TikTok, but the Chinese TikTok. Then there's so many videos of them like dancing and doing some weird things that is actually just hilarious. And I just realized that they are so much more kinder as well. Like, yes, I'm going to say it. Like they're definitely more friendly than the younger generation. I've never really met a rude person, but the way like all the people greet you and not just me because I'm a foreigner, but also my Chinese friends, definitely the older people are also nicer. But I've also realized that the older people definitely celebrate the festivals more. And you have to remember, it's also because times are changing a lot. Like a lot of Chinese are not that traditional anymore, especially like stuff like marriage, that it was very, very traditional in the, older generation but now it's becoming less and less of a thing so yeah the generations are changing so i do understand that is why the older people celebrate more festivals and are more into it but yeah i know like yes the world is changing but i think older people are very very privileged to live in china because it is not dangerous at all and that is why i think chinese people are healthier necessarily like the older people because Firstly, they eat a lot of vegetables here in China, but most importantly, they can walk around. They have the privilege to dance at night with their friends, even if it's just a bunch of women. They don't have to be afraid. They can ride bikes. Where in other countries, like in South Africa, the older people don't have that chance. So they just, if they still work, they work, go home, and then they can't really do much. So yeah, and the older people here as well, um, with the Chinese people, it's very much a family thing where the grandparents sometimes look after the grandchildren while the parents go to work, which is something I like. So mom, when I get a baby, I will be happy if you can also look after the baby because I think it helps the child, like my child one day, and also will help my mom, you know, to just be more happy, be together every day, something to do. So yeah. Definitely, the, that's an interesting thing for me, is like how active the senior citizens of China are. Okay, the fourth thing is probably the weirdest like observation you will ever hear in your life, but it's very noticeable once you hear it. Public coughing. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I don't see people cough here. Like, I came to China like six months before COVID, so I don't know if it's because of COVID, but like somehow people don't cough here. 
Yeah, they do like the spit thing, but there's no coughing. And this came up when I flew back to South Africa. So I flew from here to Singapore and most of the people on the flight were Chinese. And it was so quiet, I didn't even realize. And then suddenly when I took my flight from Singapore to South Africa, there were more foreigners on board. I don't necessarily know if they were South Africans, but they weren't um, Chinese. And then suddenly like, it felt like everyone was coughing, like everyone was sick. I was just like, no way, I couldn't sleep. It just bothered me. And maybe it was only like two or three people coughing. But then I realized it's maybe because people don't cough in China. So yeah, I don't know if it's because of after COVID, but yeah, it that was a weird thing. Like Chinese people don't cough. And I thought about like why actually it can be because in India, also the food is very spicy, but there people don't really drink hot water. So they cough more because when I went to Google, like, why is this? Maybe there are some reasons, not just me being irritated by cough, but it makes your throat irritated when you eat spicy food and then drink cold water. Where in China, people only drink hot water. So even after eating some spicy foods, they drink hot water. So their throats are not that irritated. So that can also be a thing. But yeah, that was, that's an interesting observation for me. The first one and the last one on the list, it's also an odd one, but it's like quiet kids. Yeah, Chinese kids are like, they are more calm. Like I'm telling you, they are not as naughty or mischievous like foreign kids. I was at the aquarium the other day. I took, me and Emma took her sister's kids to the aquarium for the day. And there were quite a few foreign kids to my surprise. And you could just hear them everywhere. Like they were shouting and running and screaming and you could just hear like, okay, they are the foreign kids. And it's not like I noticed this before. I was actually waiting, like the kids went to the bathroom, I was outside and ev everyone, like if I look in this direction, like everyone was so calm and just moving like in sync. And then like you see a few kids or parents here and there like just making the whole picture confusing, if you understand what I mean. And if you would notice who was making the, this picture confusing, it was foreign kids and like foreign parents running after the kids. And I'm like, that is so true. Like foreign kids are definitely busier and naughtier than Chinese kids. I understand parenting also plays a role in this. And I'm not saying all foreign kids are naughty. Please remember this video is about interesting things that I have noticed here in China. And this just has to be on the list. So yeah, I'm not sure why Chinese kids are so much calmer because here in China, when I first came here, I thought like everyone was shouting at each other and fighting, but that is just like how they communicate. But then with kids, they are more calm. And I think it's like, they do work a lot. They study a lot. So they are more, introverted and especially like i said of the technology then again like foreign kids also have technology so if you have any like ideas or answers to why chinese kids would be more calm than foreign kids or why foreign kids are more mischievous please let me know down in the comments below i think it would be a very interesting discussion to have but yeah, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, please let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Five interesting facts. Some were okay and some were pretty weird. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for spending time with me. And if you haven't subscribed and you watch until the end, I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and join the family here in China. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.